what's going on guys it's Kruta here and today we're gonna be playing the classic Shing Sung challenge we're gonna go through this entire thing uh, obviously you know what we probably could just, like, skip the bronze stages I mean this account here that we're playing on it doesn't have Shing Sung at all he's not maxed so we're not playing this challenge for no reason at all we're playing it for a good reason we actually are trying to get the character uh, but we can skip the two stages because we have enough coins and you, do you want to watch me play with silvers? Well, maybe in the elder difficulty, but in the first difficulty, no, probably not, right? I would imagine not. Okay, so this this isn't going to cost souls, right? No, it isn't. Okay, so we're going to skip just a few of these stages here, make it up to the final stage where it's just souls, and we'll go through the first, first uh, 15 battles, really. Okay, yeah. Ooh, man, it's starting to be expensive to skip. The last uh, preset here, you have to have Johnny Cage on your team. I compiled a diamond team, but that might be a little overpowered. Could use Combat Cup Johnny Cage. But this is what I have. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is very overpowered. So this is where they get you if you actually try to skip all these battles. 700 souls, no way. If you could not complete this challenge, okay, hypothetically, this would make sense if you could not complete the challenge. You do want to get one copy of Shang Tsung. He's an incredible gold. If I could pay 800 souls for one copy of him on a beginner account, I would. Genuinely. He is a, an incredible character. But you probably would have made it up a little bit on the uh, skipping battles. So you wouldn't have to pay that much. All right, we're one battle away from fighting classic Shang Tsung now. This has taken a little bit of time to <laughs> get up to. The classic Shang Tsung challenge at the low level difficulty is pretty easy. I probably could defeat this on my beginner account. I don't think I have Johnny Cage though. So this wouldn't be possible. Darn. I'm not sure what to do about that for now. All right, come on. Classic Shang Tsung. Turns out our music was turned off. Now it's back on. Classic Shing Song has Soul Snake Arm applied. Let's get our first copy of Classic Shing Song. And if you couldn't beat this battle for whatever reason, it's only 100 to skip. I'm d d trying to contemplate what character to use. You know what? Let's use Classic Liu Kang. Oh, the damage just pours on in. I'm so sorry, Classic Shing Song. We already blinded you. Yeah, it's over, buddy. So what's his passive here? The, the, this is the thing about challenges. There's no unique passive anymore. But we do have the last victory stance for Classic Liu Kang. Awesome. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no like reward for getting up this high besides obtaining the character. Okay, so Classic Shang Tsung and 50 souls. Yep. This is why it's worth it to do challenges though. There used to be some sick passives in old challenges, which are just not non-existent anymore. We're going to skip the hard difficulty. I know it's going to cost some coins, but we're going to take the L on this one. We'll play the last two battles on camera so you can see what it looks like. Same for silver. I want to save the hardest part for last so you can actually see me fight with silver characters. It's <laughs> I haven't played with silver characters in a while, so it's going to be kind of fun. All right, come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, we're spending a lot of coins right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. 270,000? Oh my goodness. That is not worth skipping if you don't have like millions of coins. Especially if you need those coins to go towards characters. In my case, I don't. All right, let's get up to the later stages. All right, we're on the second to last battle yet again. Oh, we're about to make it to Elder, guys. Oh, Elder is going to be so challenging. Scorpion? Oh, he applies bleed just on a combo under. Man, I need to start playing with Hanzo again. These people are always getting the one up on me. Okay, come on. Haven't played Johnny Cage in a while. At least Strike Force Johnny Cage. Ooh, two combos back to back. Oh, wait, that's the last character. Okay. We did it. We did it. And now we get to move on to a classic Shang Tsung. We've made it. We're going to put golds on. This is, this is like way too easy. I've decided we're going to use low fusion diamonds. Okay, we're going to use low fusion diamonds and yes. You know what? Classic rain only. Okay, we're going to prove why classic rain is one of the best characters in the game. Have a look at my talent tree. Everything is set up for critical damage, 
precision for combo unders, and power generation galore. Along with special one can cost no bar of power. Let's put some gear on classic rain. We're, make sure to use something weak, right? We don't want anything that's like way too advanced on because that defeats the point of what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so I know I haven't upgraded his passive and that's because there's gonna be an infinite loading bar if I do if I do upgrade his passive. And honestly, I don't wanna have to go through that. So we're not gonna upgrade it, screw it. If I start with classic rain, then I don't get the tag in power generation bonus. Okay, so SP1, look how much damage we just did with one SP1, yeah, okay. Second SP1, look at that, insane. Okay, third SP1, insane. Last one, insane. Look at the damage! Just fusion level one classic rain. People call you the best character in the game for a damn reason. Classic Shing Tsung, another fusion of him, soul snake arm, and 65 souls. Here's where things get interesting. We get to play yet again, but in the elder difficulty. We're not gonna be skipping. Finally, we get to use gold in this stage. Wait, gold and diamond characters only? Seriously? Wow, okay. Oh, I, did, I just didn't realize that it's gold and diamond characters only. I guess I haven't played Elder in a while. Now, the reason I'm not used to Elder, although I was a big challenge player from 2015 to 20, like 17, 18, they didn't have an Elder difficulty back then. And when I stopped playing challenges, that's when they introduced the Elder difficulty. The Elder difficulty is just for rewards though. The actual Elder difficulty isn't that difficult. I'm gonna show how, if you just get Classic Rain, Fusion Level Zero, you can beat this easily. Set up your talent tree similar to the way that I did, and you can beat all these battles pretty easily. Uh, yeah, what are you doing? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? That's not gonna work. Kill Sub-Zero. Oh man, okay. He's putting up a fight. Sandstorm just makes it so I can't uh, block break. Yeah, we don't even need a block break for this. I guess, okay, there's so many battles here. Guys, I think I'm going to not show them. That might disappoint you, but this video is gonna be really long and I don't think you necessarily wanna see me play some of these battles. Since we're not using bronze and silvers, I just don't feel it. All right, we are back and we completed a ton of battles. I've spent about an hour and a half doing all these battles with diamond characters. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't include this part in the video because that's just going to be boring for you guys. But here's the part that gets that's, that's fun. You get to go up against classic Shing Song multiple times. And we're going to use classic rain for as much as we can. But I believe the next battle will not allow us to use classic rain because he's an outworld character and you have to have a spec ops. But this one should be easy with Classic Rain. Look at this. Just look at how great Classic Rain is. I don't think I needed to even tell you that. <laughs> no one even has to tell you nowadays. You just know. Even even new players. It is really funny though. When he first came out, pretty much like no one talked about him. It was only after he became kind of free to play and people started collecting him that his fusion level... Oh, no, okay. I was gonna say never mind, but he didn't even kill us with that. I think if he would have been the last stage, that probably would have killed us. But you, you can't really accommodate for something like that. We used SP2, which was, it was not necessary. I didn't have to use an SP2, but we win. Need his victory stance for this account. I really do. What is this background? Is that, that's Freddy Krueger. Oh my God, am I high? That is not Freddy Krueger, that is Jason. Le Leatherface, what a, oh my goodness. I just got it wrong twice. I will give you permission to hate on me for that one. I don't know what was going through my head. Um, this one's gonna be easy, so I'm gonna try to make it just a tad bit more difficult. Oh, <gasps> Kenshi, yes. All right, I found a way to make this battle interesting still. I'm using a character that I have not used in literal years. I'm not joking. This is just a character that I, I, I never use. And for good reason. Thunder God Raiden, 
He's just a starter character. Once you get literally anything else, you just stop using him. We have Thunderlord Sigil maxed. Okay, sure. Why not actually wait? No, I don't want to put his brutality gear on because then I won't have any uh, ability to block break. R is Raiden ascended? This Raiden, Thunder God? Also, we are lagging. It's time to go put our phone in the freezer. Give me a second. Okay, after putting my phone in the freezer, the game should not be lagging. And indeed, it is not lagging anymore. <laughs> it's always so funny to put your phone in a literal freezer just to fix performance issues. Is that going to kill him? Could I be impressed? Raiden! Okay, putting on a show. When I was younger, I had Dark Raiden, which was amazing. Okay, I absolutely loved Dark Raiden. But I also did want to play thunder god raiden really bad but i could never get him because he was a challenge exclusive and that is one area that i feel like people don't even acknowledge nowadays mk mobile all of the challenge characters are so easily accessible anyone can get a single challenge character the only downside is that with the introduction of diamonds uh and you know diamonds being super common now we have one introduced every update uh it's changed what's, you know, wanted. Challenge characters, the most recent ones, or even older ones, used to be what's sought after, but now, you know, it's diamonds. Back in the day, Raiden, Thunder God Raiden specifically, was wanted by a lot of people. He was the first ever challenge in this game, and I don't believe that I ever got my hands on Thunder God Raiden. I had to wait. We'll just throw some basic gear on and call it a day. I really want to use Kenshi. It kind of feels weird to go up against the same opponent over and over and over again. But don't worry, you guys are going to get some legit fights here. The last ones, or the last battles, are going to be some legit fights. Now, Balance Kenshi, oof. I didn't play Balance Kenshi at all back in the day. It was only possessed because of the fire. I was a huge fan of him. But Balance Kenshi might just be the better character. Yo, 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 Shang Tsung, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Pretty nice. Do you need a moment? I think just Balance Kenshi has better combo unders than uh, Possess Kenshi. Let me know in the comments below uh, which character you think is better. Possess Kenshi or Balanced? This is a battle that was common back in the day. And like my cousin and I had a war on this. He was using Balanced and I was using Possessed. Probably because I'm Possessed, right? I would imagine so. <laughs> It only takes one. Uh, what's the character requirement? Spec Ops characters? To spice things up, we can use... Ugh, heavy weapons, Jack Spriggs. He is a phenomenal character. I just didn't give him a chance. I just wasn't a Jack Spriggs player. Uh, what to use SP2? It does damage to the whole team. That's the big appeal to SP2. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, that is just such good damage. Undermining the performance of Jax Briggs. I mean, in Onslaught, he literally said I could I do this, do all, this day all day to a group of people. He, he stopped bullets shooting at him. He's probably the only MK character in this damn game who would actually stop bullets from hitting him because he just puts up his arms and deflects it because of his arms being made out of metal. Seriously, smart. Would Kenji be able to just stop the bullet with telekinesis? No, probably not. What, what's the next fight? Shang Tsung. I wanted to record some of these because they're high level diamonds. And I missed the lizard battle, by the way. You can see earlier there um, when we were like, you know, clicking on the battle. The lizard battle was right before the battle we played, which is unfortunate because I probably should have recorded going against a lizard team. Like, come on. That would have been pretty cool. I may have skipped just a little bit just because I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I wanted to get straight to the action. You don't have to skip though. All right. Ooh, SP1. Get rid of Pharaoh Mac. Never used him. He's a good character though. One of these days I gotta make reviews. I gotta go play all these uh, gold characters. and MK11 Liu Kang? And Slasher Jason. Is this our first time seeing MK11 Liu Kang in a uh, challenge? Or is this in Noob Cybots as well? I will be honest. I did not record 
and post uh, Classic Noob Cybots challenge. And that's why I'm making sure I do with Classic Shang Tsung. Okay, yeah. Looks like I'm gonna have to get a little closer for my comp winners. I'm not used to playing Jax. I'm sorry, guys. Back And also, back in the day, I didn't use Block Breakers much, because it was 2015. Um, there weren't as many, I don't think. Ooh! Hello. Hello, sir. Are you gonna wait? Alright, sir. Finally, go against the Liu Kang. Let's go with Kenshi. Just power drain him. Woo -hoo -hoo. Get that good damage pouring in. Whew. I love that kick. It's so satisfying. You're going down, buddy. You're going down. Alright, what's... Saucer Jason's always the biggest issue. We're not gonna power drain him, we're just gonna kill him, right? And then he's gonna come back with X-Ray. Then we're gonna use SP1. And then I'm gonna guess he's gonna come back again for a third time, right? Wait, what? Thought I, I thought I only killed him once. And he comes back twice. Whatever. Are we lagging again? Please not again. Don't make me go put my phone in the freezer. Is this gonna be like a meme on the channel that we always put my phone in the freezer? <laughs> The performance tanks so much. Ooh, that lag. I'm sure that's not pleasing for you guys to watch. 60 FPS go to 10 FPS. I hate when videos do that. It's all right, it's all right. We'll work on this. Come on. Let's just get this game over with first. I'm glad the others weren't MK11s. Guys, what if they made MK11 golds? Yet again, because, uh, believe it or not, MK11 Jade, MK11 Cabal, and MK11 Raiden were all golds at one point. I wonder what it'd be like if they try to make gold MK11s again. I, oh, I've been messing up my speech here, slurring like crazy. That's what happens when it's so late and you're doing the classic Shang Tsung challenge. We can't lose even if it's Elder. It's impossible. We have to be using some really bad characters. All right, Kenshi already does half his health. Oh my gosh. Kenshi, just solo this battle yourself, I guess. Okay. Sure. My blade thanks you. I love you, Kenshi. These battles are starting to get difficult. What's the challenge requirement? Johnny Cage or Raiden? Well, we might as well use diamonds since they're almost maxed. I have a feeling we're still going to shred through these battles. We're not lagging too much, but I can definitely notice some frame stuttering. When we get to the last floor, we'll put my phone in the freezer again. <laughs> you guys got to start suggesting some teams to play on survivor mode for me to make videos on. Uh, I have so many projects in the work uh, for tutorials and other types of short content, my second channel, a bunch of stuff. But I also want some fun videos like survivor mode, you know, towers. I have to have some up-to-date content for the current game, you know, just just regular current game content. As long as it's successful. Oh, a full a fully uh, decked out MK11 team. Let's go against this. I didn't even know this would this would show up. This reminds me of the elder difficulty for the MK11 challenges, which People do talk about, they're like, hey, they should bring back the MK11 challenges. It is kind of possible. All they have to do is go get the game files for the Elder challenges and just go pl uh, plop them back in. Um, as long as they didn't delete them. It should be just a copy and paste. That's it. Uh, the Elder challenges, but the challenges that were for Diamond characters, well, that's not going to come back for sure because some of them were like just mad broken and the developers have to probably do a lot of tweaking to get that to work for mk11 challenges though definitely not it would be it would be cool to see mk11 diamonds have a challenge i feel like a, a lot of people would stop complaining about challenges if the uh trials and the mk11 elder challenges came back and it's fair it's fair if people stopped complaining over that. Because if you were able to get a diamond, and a decent one at that, Cabal, Jade, and Raiden, the best one probably being Raiden or Jade, uh, if you can get one of those, 
like one time. Maybe make the challenge uh, harder, make the battles more difficult. I don't know, make it cost 10 times more to skip. There's so many things you can do. Limit it to once a year. Oh, what nice, we crashed. Rehashing the MK11 challenges would help the community quite a bit. Oh, we forgot. Hold on, I gotta disable the home bar. There we go. The home bar is magically gone. Let's tag him with Raiden so we don't have to worry about Jade. We can do a lot of damage based on our tagging. So this battle, this battle would be difficult for someone who's like a beginner. If you have fusion five golds, this is where you're probably gonna have to get stumped. There was a tricky battle I faced not too long ago. I forget who it was, maybe it was smoke. Mm, some evasion, evasion type battle. It was very annoying. There we go. Equipment cards disabled. That means we get no block breaking. Let's tag him with Raiden. That's okay. We should be fine. Looks like Johnny Cage is crap when you're fighting against him. <laughs> oh, Ermac. Good evening, Ermac. Goodbye, Ermac. How about you update your design? The MK11 design of Ermac is always gonna be MVP. What am I even saying anymore? Injustice 2 Raiden versus Injustice 2 Raiden. If this misses, I'm gonna cry. Oh, thank goodness. That looked like the range was very off. I almost think for Elder, you know what would be really funny? If they made the final boss, you know, classic Shang Tsung, what if they made it so that he is three on a team? That would be cool. That'd make this Elder difficulty very um, challenging for new players, but also unique to fight against three classic Shing Tsungs on a team. We just, just make the battle interesting, all right? And as I, I give you permission to do that. Other people might not, but I do. <laughs> or I could, you know, just make the team myself and play it and fight against it. Goro, knock it off. Let's use SP2. One more game before the dreaded battle. The final battle is here, folks. And it's quite disappointing. Look at this. It's just level 50 classic Shang Tsung. Seriously? He's not even maxed. He should be maxed at the least. But our tagging damage will not work. Let's use uh let's use Triforce Johnny and Classic King Song. Doing a little bit of damage actually. Oh hey, he's healing. Buddy, no. We just took half his health with one SP. Oh my gosh. That's it. There goes Classic Shang Tsung. Didn't feel like an Elder Challenge to me. But finally, we completed the Elder Classic Shang Tsung Challenge, getting our final copy of Classic Shang Tsung and 100 Souls. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Let me just give a big shout out to my YouTube members. We have Lace, Exaris, Godly, Grimmer Mia, Friendly Guy with the Spurger, Syed, Noxon, Bessar, Goku, JDB, Presh GG, Bagor, Titan Beast, Tolga, Hamath, Giuliano Games, Stan Marsh, Combat Max, Aiden, Katana, Plain Punch, Jeremy, Shocks YT, Jeff, Fitz Magic, Massive Cool, Rosislav, and MK Fire. Thank you all for being YouTube members and welcome to the new ones. And yeah, peace out.